Right. I want everybody to picture your living room for a second. Can you see that comfy couch where you're going to sit down at the end of today with a nice cold beer, maybe a cup of tea? Well, imagine one day you walk into that room and everything has been painted. The couch, the cushions, even the carpet. Everything is white. Essentially, it's all the same. You can still sit down, you can still enjoy your cup of tea. It just feels and looks different, right? For my PhD research, I'm investigating this situation for coral reef fish, except that their living room is the reef that they inhabit, and that white paint job, well, that's the death of the living reef. As oceans get too hot, or populations of coral-eating starfish explode, we tend to lose the living tissue, but we're left with the white coral skeleton intact, and this situation is becoming increasingly common around the world's oceans. Now, most fish live amongst the branches of corals, so really, as long as they can keep sheltering in there, why should they care whether it's live or dead, right? Well, it turns out that they do care, just like you would about your white living room. I found that many fish will leave a dead coral in favor of a live one nearby, if there is one. And those remaining live corals quickly become really crowded, like the one you can see here, and the fish have to start compete for whatever re or for space amongst the branches. Weaker competitors get pushed out and are then forced to live on dead coral again. And I found that while they're on that dead coral, they start behaving differently and sheltering in more risky locations than, than if they were on live coral. Risky because when a predator attacks, if you've chosen the wrong place to hide, it means certain death. In fact, when I returned to some of those corals a year later, almost all of those fish have died. But there is hope, however. The story changes if even a small portion of that coral is left alive. Initially, the fish will shuffle and fight for space amongst the branches, pushing out weaker competitors until they've reached a comfortable level of flatmates. Then, they'll seize the opportunity and go over to the live coral portion, and, or dead coral portion, and snack on all the tasty little critters that live amongst the dead branches, while still enjoying the live coral portion to live in. Um, and this little nifty trick means that these fish are actually stronger and healthier than their neighbors up the road who have had no disturbance to that colony the whole time. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a good news story. With the death of a coral reef, we still lose a lot of fish. It just means that for those that made it, uh, what doesn't kill them really does make them stronger. And they are counting on us to not paint their living room white again. <laughs>